In this demo, we'll see how our security controls and threat hunting solutions handle a spear phishing attack that uses Cobalt Strike to deploy the newest variant of Hive ransomware. Let's start with threat hunting by searching our network for malicious activity. For that, we choose Infinity XDR from the Infinity portal. This XDR platform is seamlessly integrated with checkpoint firewalls and endpoints, correlating logs into incidents and providing security insights with high certainty to shut down attacks at the earliest stage possible before damage spreads. In the overview, we can see that one log server and 1,029 endpoints are sharing logs with Checkpoint's XDR cloud. XDR generated eight incidents over the past 30 days, finding the needles in the haystack among the hundreds of thousands of logs it ingested, removing the redundant and consolidating logs that feed the same incident. In this screen, we can also see the security incidents in the organization color-coded according to their priority and distributed according to their status and assignee. When hovering on each incident, we can see a preview of the incident's details, including the incident's description, time frame, affected assets, and identified indicators. For example, incident number 138 is a correlated detection from both endpoint and gateways logs. Let's dive into this incident's specific indicator and investigate it. By clicking on the indicator, we will be prompted to the Intelligence tab for more contextual intelligence. We can see at the top the most interesting information when investigating the file, its malicious classification, checkpoint's high level of confidence in its verdict, its high number of hits in virus total, and more. Moreover, we can review additional information such as the network activity that was seen originating from this file and subjects of the emails that delivered it. We can review the indicator's traffic analysis, nurtured by Checkpoint's global sensors, to gain perspective of the indicator's behavior where we can see a sudden spike in its activity, the countries it was mostly seen in, the industries that were mostly affected by it, and the delivery method of the malware, which was entirely by email. Here on the right, we bring open source intelligence directly into the XDR platform, enabling effective and accelerated investigations. We can also review the threat emulation report of this file, containing full analysis of the file's capabilities and their attribution to the Maitre attack framework. In the response section, we can choose to block this malicious activity by blocking the indicator across all the connected products. For that, we will select the indicator and add it to the IOC management, add the name of the indicator, a comment, and set to prevent. In the IOC management page, we can see that the indicator that was identified is being enforced and currently blocked by all connected products. One thing for any kind of threat or activity inside the organization can be done in the Threat Hunting tab by using custom or predefined queries. Searching for this file MD5 by choosing MD5 Indicator and pasting its content. We can review all the related detection and their details. For example, in the file John Smith Advanced CV, we can see its malware family, malware type, and virus total hits alongside additional intelligence. Directly from here, we can choose to quarantine the file, isolate the host, and more to stop the attack in its tracks. In this view, we can also review the Mitra attack framework. Let's click on the three dots at the top and choose Mitra attack. For example, in the execution column, we can see hits on five different techniques. Let's demonstrate a spear phishing attack on an innocent end user employee. For demonstration purposes, threat detection is in detect mode. The employee opens a document attached to an innocent looking email. Once opened, due to Felina vulnerability in Microsoft Word, malicious beacon is downloaded, establishing reverse shell with the attacker. Now that the attacker has full access to the host, he begins encryption of the station for ransom. SmartView Checkpoint's events management provides the threat visibility needed to tell the story of the recorded attack. Through the threat prevention view, we can see a summary of all the relevant events generated by Checkpoint threat detection engines. 
In this example, antibots and threat emulation. Clicking on antibot log inside the threat prevention widget brings us to the relevant detection logs. He will learn that this malware has been identified as part of the Cobalt Strike CNC communication, which protocols were used in the attack, and the IP of the CNC servers the beacon is connected to. So, our organization just experienced a ransomware infection. In order to drill down, find the threat, review the techniques used, and understand what damage was done, we will switch back to the Infinity Portal. By reviewing the anti-ransomware detections, we learned that it was originated by Hive Group. We have references to VirusTotal and required indicators such as PID and MD5. We can dive even deeper into the forensic report using the menu on the right side of the screen. The forensics report elaborates on the type of malware, such as the entry points. We can click on the Business Impact button at the top to learn how many files were damaged, encrypted, and finally, by clicking the ransomware icon on the Incident Details tab to understand where the files were stored and the attack contained. Each of the sections can be clicked on to get further information on the damage done. We can also click the Mitra Attack button at the top to learn about the techniques used as mapped by Mitra Attack Framework. Checkpoint breaks down the attack to fragments to be identified and verified by ThreatCloud, the world's largest threat knowledge base. We'll switch back to the logs view to review our response options. Checkpoint enables the admin to utilize the IPS detect log to dynamically connect and enable the relevant IPS protection. We open the IPS log and click the protection. Next, we switch from detect to prevent and install policy. The new policy is enforced within seconds, blocking the attacker from accessing the station. Another option to respond is by isolating the machine from the rest of the network to avoid lateral movement. We choose the relevant event in the threat hunting section, click the three dots menu on the right, choose isolate machine and approve. As simple as that. Finally, in case we were in detect mode and the attack already initiated, we can easily remediate and recover the files by using the endpoint agent. We click Anti-Ransomware to review the incidents, scroll to the Restoration tab, and click Restore Files. We approve the file restoration and within seconds get confirmation. As you can see, the files that had been encrypted are now back to their original state.